Well, greetings out there in YouTube land. Welcome back, Indiana Doug here. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Oh boy, another one of those chain sharpening videos, right? And you'd be correct. Well, it's a nice, beautiful, rainy day here in East Central Indiana. Uh, a brisk 40 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Some might say lovely from the north. Some might say horrific from the, from the south. Regardless, there's been a bit of a misconception him hollering around in the land. And I'd like to set a few things straight. As most of you probably know, there's a very well-known Canadian feller out there preaching the term, get the gullet. Hey, think what you will of the gent. But he'd be mighty right in his ways. Now this here instructional isn't for the common filer, but more for the inexperienced wannabe sawyer type. You catch my drift? So you might be asking yourself, what in the Sam Hill is Indiana Doug talking about exactly? Well, I'm talking about the term get the gullet. And a lot of people are taking it too far. I feel a little obligated to make this video. I've waited years for someone else to make it, but no one's made it. So I'm gonna make it. So put your thinking cap on if you're new to this game. All right, step one, a properly sharpened tooth. This section right here is the gullet, okay? And it's properly sharpened. To get it properly sharpened, you simply take your chainsaw file, you set it on the tooth, you look at this witness mark right here, and file accordingly. It's that simple. We do not need to overcomplicate chainsaw filing. It's been engineered to be very simplistic. You take a file, you look at the witness mark, you line this up parallel to the witness mark while keeping your file par also parallel to the ground. It's that simple. You push the file forward to sharpen it. You release it. You push the file forward again. You release it. You push the file, like, you know what I'm saying, right? It's that simple, okay? Until this working corner is really sharp. That's where most of your cutting is done, right there. Okay? Everything works in conjunction with that one simple stroke. If you follow this witness mark and keep this file parallel to the ground. Everything will come together perfectly. Your gullet will naturally form right here, okay? So when people think about getting the gullet, they think about getting the gullet. And that's what they concentrate on is the gullet. And that's what the problem is here. Let's stop thinking about that. Let's start thinking about just the simple movement of filing a chain. Only look at what you're doing in a simple manner okay let's let's show you a couple examples of when you go too far with the gullet when all you think about is i gotta get that gullet because i gotta be like this guy or that guy and that's the only way to sharpen okay here's a great example of how you don't get the gullet when you think about just getting the gullet you, you start coming way down here see so 
you know, gravity, gravity takes over where you're, the force of how you push down, you know, people start pushing down really hard and they start getting way too low. See how low this is here? Okay, that's a no-no. Another example is is here. Let me get this set up. Another example is right here. Like, well, you know, I, I must be using a too small of a file, so I'm going to go to the bigger file. Well, it does the same thing. See how the gullet comes way down here? You don't want to do that. Okay, yeah, it looks like a perfect filing, but it's not. Will it cut? Yeah, probably cut really well, probably dull really fast too, though. But you don't have the structure that you need here for the longevity of the, the to make the chain last. Okay, so that's that's just not right. It's too much of a an extreme circle or C, or however you want to say that. Let me flip this around and show you too, what it does to the tie strap. See, see this here? You start filing so deep and it starts getting into your tie strap here. You do not want that. That's a very bad example of how to sharpen. Again, will it cut? Yeah, probably. Cut really good for a minute. Um, bad habit to get into now again this is not for advanced chain sharpening racing chain things like that this is just for the you know the uh, weekend warrior the home gamer the firewood guy who wants to keep his chain as sharp as possible for as long as possible and effective right okay so if you are a beginner or if you just can't get the hang of it a great tool to use is the um, well i got one that's made by forrester it's, it's called a file holder and um it's 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 a file guide is what it is it's this right here you can see that, right? One of these guys, okay? Because this forces you to sharpen correctly. It forces you to get under that plate, that top plate, at the perfect angle. And it also sharpens this working corner perfectly. And you will not hog out the gullet this way. See, and just put it like this and, and you cannot go down any further. Okay, and once you get this down, well, you can take it off and you can understand the logistics behind what you're trying to do and it'll make you uh, become a better sharpener. So hopefully somebody's learned something out there. Got any questions, leave them in the comment. Till next time, see ya!